Hi there. Hi Southern Cameroonians. My name is Tapang Ivo Danku and today I want to present some logical uh, illustration on where we are in this struggle and how we can wipe away our wrinkles without necessarily fighting each other. So far we've been winning in this struggle but however within the past few hours or within the past few days we've been having a lot of wrinkles coming up on the social media and people have been fighting each other. However there is a way out. The solutions are very parsimonious or very simple and are very logical for my explain from my explanation here we go this is a whiteboard and this is a, a dot permit me to speak in English I could speak in pigeon if you want this is a whiteboard and this is a dot here we are if I ask anyone as I've always been demonstrating what do you see on this board people will say I see the dot I see the dot I see the dot no one ever says he sees or he or she sees a white space this big large white space I bring this illustration for one key reason so far in this struggle we've been winning and we've been winning bigly but here is it. We have hiccups that will come across our way, but you should not focus on this particular dot. Focus on so far the successes we've been recording over time and over the months. We've had a lot of successes that we can focus on. We can look at the strategies here. I mean dotted all over here. We should not look at this dot and capitalize and start expanding and expanding and expanding and expanding and expanding. It will shoot ourselves in the leg. We should not we should never take out a problem and expand it out of proportion. Look at the white space we've been having over time. Here is it. Here is the white space. Here is the successes. The white will represent successes, however. Here is it. So we've been having a lot of successes over time since the strike started or since the ghost town started or since the civil disobedience started or since the struggle started. So we've been having a lot of successes over time and here are the successes represented over this whiteboard. The little hiccups we've been having within the past few days, something very minute, but the way we're treating these problems on the social media could expand and expand and expand and rubbish the entire work we've been having over time. Now, how do we find our way out? The social media can act as a two-pronged approach or a double-edged sword. It can either help you to facilitate your growth towards your success or attaining your goals, and as well, it can help you to cripple your successes or your months of accumulated successes over time. But however, because we have the social media as our only weapon to fight this gangster regime in the rock state in Cameroon, we have to come back to our rails. First, because of the division we've been having on the social media, people have been coming onto the social media having pseudonyms and having fake profiles to ridicule our struggle. It is imperative that we know that we are heterogeneous. It means we come from all over the regions and spread all over the world and all over everywhere and we have different bi diverse backgrounds, ethnic languages and whatever and different groups, affiliations, jangi groups and all of those. Never ever expect every Southern Cameroonian to reason as you do. Never ever expect every Southern than Cameroonian to come under the same umbrella as you do. However, we have to identify one key hook. Our key hook here is freedom. So if I write freedom, it's freedom, freedom. At least all of us, we agree that we want freedom. The least person on the street will want freedom. The highest person at the top of the tree would want freedom. This is where we should look at. This is what would identify all of us and this is what will bring all of us together. If we identify that we want freedom, we will not be looking at we want groups. It is not a matter of groups. Groups per se, groups here, groups there, group that. No. Groups are okay. You can come up with your group fine but it is imperative that our leaders should come up with a strategy to encourage every group member you're free to exercise your rights to expression of freedom to association or freedom to interest you can align your interests with all of these groups but do not allow the groups to fight each other the leaders as well of for these groups, the consortium, SCACOF and all of those could come up with a strategy where they could encourage their supporters or their base supporters to not fight each other or people in another group. Everyone has his own interests articulated differently. So encourage those people not to fight each other. Once we start fighting each other, we are bringing division and we will not attain this goal of freedom. Once we start behaving ourselves maturely in public, then we'll understand that everyone wants freedom and together we can unite. 
It is by self-restraint, our particular point on self-restraint, it is very important. No matter how much you nurse grievances or no matter how much you have a vexing problem, do not express it on the social media, our only weapon to win the gangster regime. Once we start expressing these grievances on the social media, instead of putting strategies, we will be opening cracks for the regime to come in and fracture the entire struggle. And this is what we don't want. So however, we can encourage each other to love everyone's agenda or every group's agenda accept tolerate that's that means you have to respect the groups and you have to tolerate their views that is how we can successfully unite in this struggle if i accept for example skakov or i accept for example morris or i accept for example agc I have to respect their views and I have to tolerate them. I will not go on to say don't donate for Skakov or don't donate for AGC. I would never do that. Rather, I would say keep, keep up. If you want to do this, do this because we are all working towards freedom. Neither would I expect someone to say don't donate for the consortium or donate for the consortium. Allow people to freely do what they want to do and do not criticize each other in public because we are all working towards the common freedom. So, I expect that especially after this logical demonstration of the dots and white spots, everyone should come back to the rail. We've been having so much division on the social media, and believe me, all of us are leaders. If I have a base and you criticize me, my followers will criticize you as well. If you have a base and I criticize you, your followers will criticize me as well. And all of these followers are working towards freedom. So how do you expect us to unite under this cacophony? So it is very imperative that we should encourage our followers not to fight each other. That means if you are the follower of the consortium or you stand with the consortium, don't fight any other person working for Maurice or they're working for AGC or working for whatever group. Do not do that. If you do that, you are on your own and you don't represent the aspirations of the consortium. Therefore, we should not allow cracks for the gangster regime to come in. Then lastly, the main point, we should try to borrow the best practice or a best practice from the gangster regime. Never have we ever seen Chiruma Bakari, the communications officer or minister of the gangster regime, criticize a failing Yang policy or a failing Atanganji policy. They have repeatedly been very successful in failing in all the missions to the northwest region and the southwest regions of Cameroon, but we have never ever heard Chiruma Bakari criticize these leaders. Neither have we heard President Paul Bia in his 34-year career ever criticize his own ministers. So why should we do that for us, our struggle, which we've been winning for the past five months? Now we are having a kind of a cash cow situation where just we, we're just flat. Our curve is flat. We need to move up to another threshold value, value to boost these morals. So please, don't criticize any leader in this struggle because you are the leader. It is because of you that your families respect the ghost towns. It's not because of Ivo. It's not because of Mark. It is because you call your families back home to respect the ghost towns and they do. So please, don't criticize another person because everyone in this struggle has a fan base. And once you do, you're setting up cacophony within the social media. Please, this illustration should go a long way to solve many problems as we keep up. I encourage every leader of every group and every individual who is a leader to absorb the policy of not fighting each other, praising each other, give other, each other a helping hand to stand up, and together we will be united. We will have hiccups across the way, but we know how to solve them. Apply this basic logic, we will come back to the real. And please do tag our enemies with horrible names like black legs and all of those. Anything, any person who comes with the sort of profile and the rest, we have to fish them out and we have to push them to the drawing board. And that is how we've been succeeding over time. We cannot let the struggle fail. Please believe me, God is, uh, God is with us. However, thank you very much. I have my catapults. Oops. I have my catapult here. Oh, my Robagon or Thank you very much and do have a nice day. Bye bye. My name is Tapanga Evitanku.